It's a 624 fact. We've got a really good thing going in White Bear Lake area schools. So good that families are choosing to build their homes and their futures in our communities. The district has seen 7% growth since 2010 and expects 2,000 more new students will enroll during the next 10 years. Let's face it, that's 25% higher than our current capacity. On November 5th, voters will be asked to approve a bond referendum to fund a comprehensive facilities plan. This plan is the result of a nearly year-long process involving a committee made up of 90 parents, staff, and community members. If the bond referendum is approved, every building in the district would be updated in some way, creating a domino effect of solutions. Here's a bird's eye view of the plan. District-wide additions and renovations would accommodate projected enrollment growth. Safe, secure, and healthy learning environments for all students. Increased opportunities for students through a single, unified 9 through 12 high school experience and flexibly designed learning spaces to support student-centered instruction. It's important to note, the average age of our district buildings is 50 years old. Tack on another five decades for the oldest building. If approved, there are building-specific changes that will happen in order to meet student enrollment and academic needs. A new elementary school would be built in Hugo. Onika Elementary would become a K through five school and Hugo Elementary would become a Northern Early Childhood Center. The facilities plan also includes bringing all high school students together in a renovated North Campus, which means better access to more comprehensive course offerings, including college and career pathways options. Fewer transitions for students during critical adolescent developmental stages, and maintaining consistent longer lasting staff and student relationships. The high school expansion allows for Sunrise Park Middle School to relocate to South Campus. The current Sunrise Park Middle School site would house various multi-generational community programs, including the Senior Center and Early Childhood Programming, the Transition Education Center, and the District Office. This makes room for Central Middle School to expand and take over the current District Center building. This comprehensive plan impacts all of our buildings and students. If the $326 million bond referendum is approved in November, the average homeowner would see a tax impact of about $23 per month. The future is bright. Families continue to choose our school district because of the way we support and engage all learners. After a tremendous amount of discussion and planning over the past year, the team came up with a plan that would accommodate our projected enrollment growth. It provides more programs and opportunities for all residents, aligns with the district's strategic plan, and is financially sustainable. Please learn all you can about the bond referendum and remember to vote on November 5th.